Within the dynamic world of investment strategies, diversification holds a crucial role, acting as an unwavering pillar in assembling a comprehensive portfolio. Diversification is significant in bond investments, as it helps in spreading risks and optimizing returns. The concept of not putting all eggs in one basket applies here, recommending investment across various types of bonds issued by different borrowers. This not only mitigates the risk of a single bond bond or issuer underperforming, but also capitalizes on the varying benefits different bonds offer. Among an array of financial instruments available for diversification, bonds are undoubtedly an impressive and reliable option, drawing investors worldwide. There are several types of bonds available for investment, each with its unique benefits. For instance, government bonds are renowned for their safety, as they are backed by the full faith and credit of the governmental entity issuing them. Corporate bonds, on the other hand, usually offer higher interest rates, compensating for the additional risk they carry compared to government bonds. Then there are municipal bonds, which have the added advantage of being tax-exempt, making them particularly attractive to investors in high-tax brackets. So why are bonds considered a worthy investment choice? In layman's terms, bonds are loans where the investor acts as a lender to a borrower, be it a government entity, a municipality, or a corporation. The borrower agrees to repay the loan upon its maturity, along with regular interest payments, symbolizing the return on investment for the bondholder. Unlike fluctuating interest rates that vary based on market conditions, bond interest rates are predetermined at the time of purchase and remain constant. This predictable income stream, paired with low risk, makes bonds an enticing investment, especially for individuals seeking financial stability. Moreover, bonds are often seen as a safer alternative to stocks. While the returns may not as high as those from stocks, the associated risk is noticeably lower. This feature is of utmost importance for investors with, with low risk tolerance or those nearing retirement, looking for a secure income source. In essence, bonds with their varied types and benefits, safer alternative to stocks, their lower risk, coupled with the advantage of diversification, make them especially appealing to investors seeking a balanced and secured financial portfolio. But how does an investor go about earning profits from bonds? There are two primary methods which can be utilized. The first is through the interest payments that bonds regularly yield. The second way is by selling is by selling the bonds, typically for a profit. Delving deeper into the first method, bonds are essentially loans given or governments, and like any loan they come with an interest rate. This interest, also known as the coupon rate, is paid periodically to the bondholder and serves as a steady income stream. The second method involves a little more strategy. It's based on the principle of buying low and selling high, selling high. When interest rates fall, the older high-yielding bonds become more appealing. This is because new bonds will be issued with lower interest rates, making the older high-yield bonds a sort of hot commodity. This increased demand for older bonds often results in their market price going above their face value, creating an opportunity for bondholders to sell them at a premium. The fluctuation of interest rates can therefore have a direct impact on the prices of bonds. Investors can potentially benefit from this by strategically buying bonds when rates are high and selling them when rates fall. This requires a keen understanding of the market and the factors influencing interest rates. Therefore, to maximize earnings from bonds, it's not just about holding on to them for their interest payments, but also recognizing and capitalizing. Investing in bonds, like any other type of investment, comes with its own unique set of risks. The process involves offering a loan to an entity, in return for which you receive interest payments over time and the original principal upon maturity. The two primary risks associated with bond investing are interest rate risk and credit risk. Interest rate risk refers to the potential for bond prices to decrease due to an increase in interest rates. When interest rates rise, the fixed interest payments of a bond become less attractive compared to new bonds, causing the price of existing bonds to fall. If you need to sell your bond before maturity during such a period, you may experience a capital loss. Credit risk, on the other hand, involves the possibility of the borrower defaulting on their payments. This can occur if the entity you're lending to runs into financial difficulties. In the worst case scenario, they may default on their payments, resulting in the loss of your investment. This risk is particularly relevant in the case of corporate bonds where businesses can face bankruptcy, thereby defaulting on their debt, their debt. Understanding these risks is crucial to successful bond investing, 
Despite these potential hazards, bonds continue to be a favored choice due to their predictable returns and lower risk profile relative to other investment types. In essence, while bonds are not risk-free, understanding and mitigating these risks can lead to successful bond investing. As we conclude this insightful discussion, let's emphasize one last time that the key to fruitful investing is having a well-balanced portfolio. Bonds, renowned for their consistent returns and reduced risk, should form the backbone of your investment strategy. Their integral role in your portfolio cannot be overstated. Wise and strategic investing can unlock the potential, the potential inherent in bonds. So let's start investing wisely today and create a stable financial future. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe for more expert advice on investing. Until meet again, continue investing and growing your